Okay, so welcome. I have had several people ask me to do a video on variable length subnet masks. And so that's what I intend to do here. We're going to go ahead and we are going to do a small network with three routers. R1, R2, R3. And the interconnects between them. One will have 50 hosts, one will have 4,000 hosts, and one network will have 400 hosts. Don't forget we have two hosts in between each of them. So, what do we do? And remember, these are all hosts. First thing we have to do is we have to rank them greatest to least. So, we have one with 4,000, 400, 50, 2, 2, and 2. These are usable hosts. So when it says the word hosts, that's key to us. We need to make sure that we're adding 2 because later down the line, we're going to be losing 2. So that'll be 4,000, 2, 400, 2. 52, 4, 4, and 4. For the 4,450, doesn't really affect anything, but the ones that have 2, that affects them majorly. So when we're dealing with host count, we're going to start with the very far right side in binary, and we're going to start with 1, and we're just going to keep doubling it. Now remember, we're dealing with the fourth octet here, or 128 dot so these bits are here but they are all zero and then we just keep doubling 256 512 1024 2048 4096 oh that one works because we need something that will hold 4,000 and 2. That one does, hence the 1. All the other ones remain 0, and everything to the left then becomes 1. So we already have, out of this 8 bits, we already have 3 zeros, so we need to make sure to add the rest of the 1s. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next question you have to ask yourself is how many ones do we have? We have eight bits. We have eight more bits. That's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So that means the first network will be a slash 21. We have 21 ones. Right, the next thing we're going to ask ourselves, let's go ahead and let's get rid of everything else. Let's just look at the third octet. I'm going to rewrite it. One, 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 and three zeros. Let's go back to our base chart. What position is the last one in to the far right? So we're going to have a grouping of 8 bits. So here we're going to have our subnet. Here we're going to have our group or block. And it'll be of 8. So we're going to do the same thing for our 400. Again, 1 won't work, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. All of those are going to stay at 0 because we need at least 400. 256 don't work. Oh, but 512 does. Everything to the left of that 512 will become 1. I'm going to rewrite it down here. And so here we're having a grouping of 2. So we still have, again, because we're in the third octet here, 
So we still have the 16 bits from the first and second octet. So this will be 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I totally miscounted. We should have 16 bits from the other one. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So just to make sure I actually have the correct amount of ones, oh, I have 121s. So that will be 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And okay, that's correct. I did one, 121s. So we've got our first subnet, first two subnets, and our first two groupings. Now we're gonna do 52, but notice 52 is going to be able to work in the fourth octet. Okay, so very similar with our 402, we're going to do with our 52, but notice we're in the third octet. So I'm going to go ahead and erase some of these. There we go. Does 52 go into 1? Nope. 2? Nope. 4? Nope. 8? Nope. 16? Nope. 32? Nope. 64? Yes! That means everything that way turns to ones. Remember, this is our third octet. So we have eight bits in our first octet, plus eight bits in our second octet, plus eight bits in our third octet, plus two bits in our fourth octet. So that should be a slash 26. What position is the last one in? It's in the 64 spot. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing for the last two. So you'll notice here they're gonna be four. Does four go into one? No, does two, or four go into two? No, does four go into four? Yes! So that's become ones. So that will be a slash 30 with a group of 4. And all of these are going to be slash 30s with groups of 4. Okay, so now we're go ahead, uh, now we're ready to start building out our chart. So, we're going to do that by Let's assume we're going to start with a 10 address. The IP address does not matter. And we'll do a range in the middle. All right, so we're starting with a 10 address. And so we're going to look at this first network right here. Slash 21 lets us know that we're in the third octet. And we're increasing by 8. So that means... We're going to add 8 to that third octet. All right, so now we're going to move on to the second network, slash 23. That's still in the third octet, but this time we're adding two. So we're building off of the previous ID. So 8 plus 2 is 10. All right, so now we move on to the next one, slash 26. Oh, that means we're changing into the fourth octet. So what we can do now is we keep all of the other octets, but we go to the fourth octet and we increase by 64. The previous number was zero. We're increasing by 64, adding 64, so it's now 10.64. Now we go to the next one, which is a slash 30, and we're adding four. Again, in the fourth octet, now we do the second to the last one. Again, we're adding Four, so that'll be 72. Let's rewrite that. 10. Dot 72. And now we're doing the last one. Seventy-six. Alright, so our broadcasts. We're gonna do those next. And how we do that is we look at the next ID and we subtract one. 
So, a little side note. I'm going to draw a line right here. 8 minus 1. We know that's 7. But what about 8 in binary? And we minus 1. That still is 7. Alright, so that's an important concept. So I'm going to erase that. The reason this is important to realize is our broadcast is going to be one less than our next ID. 7, but 7 dot what? We cannot minus 1 from all these zeros. So what we do is we, sub we kind of borrow. So this is 8.0. This will become 7. But all of these become 1. And if you're not sure, we can always add 1 and to see if it will go back to 8. And it does go back to 8. So this is 7 dot all those ones should be 255. So now we look at the second ID. We're going to look at the next one. 10.0.9255. We look at the next one. Uh, this one's slightly different. 10. Notice we can subtract 1 from that 64. Now we look at the next one. We will look at 10.67 we look at the next one 10.0.10.71 and now we look at the last one 10.0.10.75 so now that we have our start and we have our end point now we're going to figure out what's in the middle alright so hold on hold on why did we stop there? How many networks did we have to start with? Well, we had one network of 4,002, one network of 402, one network of 52, and three networks of four. So that's six networks. Well, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. We did that seventh one just to make our math a little easier, but we only need the first six networks because we only have six networks to begin with. So, we're good to go. To help keep this a little bit smoother in writing, I'm going to stop writing the 10.0. We know they're there. We know they're going to be there. So I'm just going to write the third and fourth octet. So, we're going to start with 0, 0.0. We're going to look at the next number. That should be 0.1. I'm going to go through 7.254. We're going to be adding 1 on the 4th octet, and we're going to be subtracting 1 in the 4th octet for the end range. So again, we add 1 at the beginning in the 4th octet, and we subtract 1 at the end, 254, because we can't have duplicate addresses. 10.1 through 10.62, 65, oh, sorry, let's clean that one up a little bit, 10.65 through 10.66, oh, notice two usable, that's why we had to make sure when it said hosts that we added two because we needed to be able to accommodate losing one for the ID and losing one for the broadcast. 10.69, add one, fourth octet. 10.70, we subtract one from the fourth octet. And the last one, 10.73 through 10.74, and that fills everything. Anything above this 10.0.10.76, we use for growth. 
later down the line. And essentially, this is our basic variable length subnet problem. This is a little intimidating the first few times, but it does get easier. Thank you.